Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. We knew some key indicators and some key economies are losing their luster. However, the latest food price and production forecasts from the Food and Agricultural Organisation and the OECD show a healthy future for dairy products. Whole milk powder is expected to see rising demand along with steady price gains over the next decade. The story is similar for butter and cheese. Beef prices are not expected to rise much from here over the next period, they forecast, but the growth of production in sheep meats in China is one eye-popping statistic in this release. It will dwarf our industry. Having said that, the FAO sees prices rising for sheep meats back to level pegging with beef by 2026. And the OECD released its leading indicators overnight, showing that improving global economic growth has become less likely this year as the outlooks for the US, the UK and Russia have all weakened. Canada and Europe show momentum improving, and there are similar signs for China. Only the major economies are included in this review. In the US, the latest Federal Reserve report to Congress details how their, how their slowing is occurring. They said banks reported a broad decline in loan demand during the first quarter of 2017, even as lending standards were basically unchanged. In China, the latest inflation data for June shows no resurgence at the consumer level and is levelling out at the producer level, even if it is running at a relatively high 5.5%. And staying in China, the clampdown on uncensored information is gathering pace. The state authorities have ordered telecoms carriers to block anyone using a private VPN, a common technique to skirt the Great Firewall. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield has slipped slightly, now at 2.38%, and the price of oil has stabilised at $44.50 a barrel, while the Brent's benchmark is now just on $47 a barrel. Apparently, the, sl the shale gas revolution has spread to China, which claims output is up 76% in 2016, and vast new reserves are being discovered. The fall in the price of gold is less today, down by just $2 to $1,211 an ounce. And the Kiwi dollar is basically unchanged at 72.7 euro cents. On the cross rates, we're holding at 95.6 Aussie cents and at 63.8 euro cents. The TWI is now at 76.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.